polymer clay and some tools for this project. You want to start smushing the clay and warming it up in your fingers. I tried to work on a little bit of some coral by just twisting and pulling. It's kind of a warm-up exercise. I liked it, so I kept it. As I smush and flatten this green clay, again, it doesn't matter what color you choose for any of this, just have fun. This ended up turning into a bit of a cave. You can see here how it's kind of open. I found a neutral tone to work for sand, and I just flattened it out as thin as possible. Very organic sculpture. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Notice I made snakes and I folded them in half to work on some sea anemones. Trying out my um, toy ocean animals for size and scale. Adding in a little bit of coral growing off of the cave. I used the pencil to poke it and help it stick better to the cave. of flattening the clay and folding it up like a fan, adding some more greenery to the coral. Same thing. Let's try it out for scale and see. Grab some aluminum foil. I'm going to use this to become my sea sponge. Get a different color of clay, mixed it together with some to get a slightly different tone. Flatten it out and wrap it all the way around the aluminum foil. Tuck it around. Grab some more clay if you need to, if the clay you made wasn't quite big enough. I love using a pencil for a clay tool, and this creates the texture of the sea sponge all over, all the way around my sea sponge. The aluminum foil is fine to put in the oven in a few minutes, and heat it up, it's not going to affect anything negatively. And now I'm just going to start to have some fun, adding in different pieces and bits and bobs for my coral reef, adding in a little more sand, folding up more coral, and just enjoying the creation process. Putting a little bit of seaweed in. Notice I keep changing my colors for variety and to make it exciting. I'll grab my sea creatures and add them in around the edges just to see how they fit. The worst that happens with a project like this is that you take something off and you squish it up and try it again. Polymer clay is fantastic because it does not dry out. You can mix it with other colors and then as you come to the finishing place of your clay, of sculpting your project, you can put it in the oven and bake it, and your project will be hard. Now I'm making mine to the size of this four inch cardboard circle. I'm not gonna put the cardboard circle in the oven, that would be ridiculous. Um, neither am I gonna put my plastic animals in the oven. I'll remove those. It fun making stuff. I hope you have a great time making your own coral reef using polymer clay. So many little bits and bobs to mess with and add into your sculpture. Take the sculpture off of the cardboard and put it on some aluminum foil. You could put yours on a metal cookie sheet. You want to bake it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at 275 degrees. And when it comes out, get some glue. Glue your sea creatures into place so that they add to your sculpture. I glued my polymer clay right to the cardboard circle. And now we have a coral reef.